Good morning, everyone. My name is Laura Rizak, and I'm the Associate Rector at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in Charleston, South Carolina. I'm filming today outside because it's just such a beautiful and glorious day. Filming outside means that we'll have different sounds around from traffic to the sounds of the air conditioner that I know I can hear right now, maybe some sounds of birds. Um, but I really just wanted to be out in nature as we pray together Psalm 57 today. So please join me if you have your Book of Common Prayer or Bible with you as I give voice to Psalm 57. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful, for I have taken refuge in you. In the shadow of your wings will I take refuge until this time of trouble has gone by. I will call upon the Most High God, the God who maintains my cause. He will send from heaven and save me. He will confound those who trample upon me. God will send forth his love and faithfulness. I lie in the midst of lions that devour the people. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharp sword. They have laid a net for my feet, and I am bowed low. They have dug a pit before me, but have fallen into it themselves. Exalt yourself above the heavens, O God, and your glory over all the earth. My heart is firmly fixed, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and make melody. Wake up my spirit, awake lute and harp. I myself will waken the dawn. I will confess you among the peoples, O Lord. I will sing praise to you among the nations. For your loving kindness is greater than the heavens, and your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Exalt yourself above the heavens, O God, and your glory over all the earth. Psalm 57. What stands out to me in this psalm today is the line, in the shadow of your wings will I take refuge. Doesn't it feel good when things are really anxiety provoking, um, when things are really scary in the world? Doesn't it feel good to know that God is always there and that we can take refuge under the shadow of God's wings? I also am struck by the line, my heart is firmly fixed, oh God, my heart is fixed. As we're entering a, a really intense season in our nation, as we're approaching our presidential election with a lot of anxiety um, running high, I wonder how we can stay firmly fixed, how we can keep our hearts firmly fixed on the love of God and on our call to love God and to love our neighbors as ourselves. How can we stay firmly fixed on God? God be with you. Stay safe. Wear your mask. See you soon.